Hey folks, Roland here, in the hot seat, uh, with a special episode and a special guest. Lay it on us, brother, who are you? My name's Will, better known as MC Large Huge, I'm a nerdcore rapper in Salem, Massachusetts. For those that don't know, nerdcore is hip-hop by nerds, for nerds. Mostly guys who look like us. Yeah, you know, we, we rap about Dungeons and Dragons and Star Wars and video games and good stuff like that. Voltron, Transformers, Junk Food. I need to do a Voltron song. Everybody needs to do a Voltron song. I mean, come on, what was that? That was a hip-hop song that had a Voltron reference in it about six years ago. It was a number one hit. Was it? Yeah. These chicks connect like Voltron, something like that. That sounds vaguely sexual. It was very sexual. But anyways, uh, Will's here. He's going to help us with a special episode where we do something called the chip episode, which although, looking at them, I only think two of these actually constitute chips. But we're going to call it the chip episode because it's calling it the popcorn, checks mix, pretzel pieces, whatever the health that is and chips is too much to put in one title. It's the chip episode. And I don't count Pringles as chips anyways. They're like, they're pressed matter. Because they're all in the same exact they're, shape. They're more like mashed potatoes dried and yeah. crisped. Dehydrated. Potato chips. Fair enough. And they're all in the hot and spicy and or buffalo range. So you want to just go from left to right and we'll lay this one right in the middle? We yeah, sure. this for last because everybody's happy. See, I, was th I'm, I think we should save the these guys for last. Save that for last? The babuza. All right, yeah, that's good. We know this is good. We don't know what the heck that yeah. is. So, let's go. Doritos Blazing Buffalo Ranch. Yeah. Oh, ranch. I've, I've OD'd on these in the past. They're uh, they're very good. And, you know, it's enough for a sampling. Sure. Anybody who's a Dorito fan know that all Doritos kind of taste and kind of look the same. But, um... These are supposed to be spicy. I remember they pack a little bit of a punch. Uh, you know, if I've had them, it's been a long time. Yeah. So. I'm actually kind of excited that they're ranch. Usually when it's like it's like buffalo blue cheese, I'm not a big blue cheese guy. So. Oh, I love blue cheese. I can put blue cheese in my cereal in the morning, and I have. Anyways, for science. Mm. Are those supposed to be hot? They're supposed to be ranch, uh, buffalo flavored. They're not exactly hot. They just no. taste like Doritos with this slight like, different flavor. There's like a little bit of like a bat, like, there's a little bit of a burn at first, but then it, like before it even like evolves into, into a full-blown burn, yeah. it's like, eh, forget it. It's a good party flavor thing. I mean, party favorite Definitely. thing. You fill up a bowl with it, no one's going to complain. Oh, it's too hot. Mm -hmm. You know, you get the college kids who are like, oh man, hot and spicy, yeah. yeah. Don't want to be said, they don't taste good. I love Doritos. Half the reason I look the way I am is because of Doritos. <laughs> but that's a good starter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so we'll, we'll have a one active plate and one rest sure. plate. What's next? Next up is the Kendall brand crinkle cut potato chips buffalo blue. Those look like they spell blue too. I mean, they're all they're all fancy. That's like French. Maybe. Little Maybe. Pal little palate cleanser. This is copy. Oh. Speaking of the lizard coffee, tell what to the top of the bag, bro. Um, middle. <laughs> Let's see. And These are like in English. crinkle suckers. They never really look like real potato slices. I'll be honest, I'm kind of skeptical if these are going to have a appreciable buffalo flavor. They don't have a lot of like the flavor looking stuff on yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Kettle crinkle cut. I've never seen that before. They're as hard and crunchy as kettle chips. And they taste just like kettle yeah. chips. This one yeah, I was going to say, there's one right there. Yeah, there's a couple right here in the bag that got a little bit more flavor on I mean, them. look at that. I mean, that's like white, and that's yeah. pink. That's like getting into the right color, at least. Hmm. Not bad. No. I wouldn't kick them out of bed. Bro. But, um, yeah. They're not exactly blowing my socks off. Yeah. I'm still wearing them. Yeah, I'm, yeah. And we're all glad for that. Oh, did I say that out loud? My apologies. Alright. Now it's the Blastin' Buffalo Wing Pringles Extreme! Mmm. With no E. With no E. They, I thought they ended that after, like, 1999. Like, from now on, we have to spell Extreme with all three E's. Well, I think Gary Sharon had a lot to do with that. But, um, aside from that... Uh, you should be drinking Mountain Dew with these. Uh, do some snowboarding and pit bull slapping or whatever. No, okay, nobody seat. that actually drinks Mountain Dew does that. Well, by the way, Inahati does not endorse slapping a pit bulls. No. Ooh, these actually taste like peppers, at least. Ooh, yeah. Wow, oh, these are good. I was never a huge uh, Pringle fan. The texture always bothered me. Oh, see, I grew up on Pringles. But the flavor of these, these are is actually really good. This is like... 
Pringles were always the chips that my grandmother had around. Mm. So that was like, oh man, Pringles. And now it's like my grandmother finally, you know, joined the 21st century. <laughs> they actually uh, have a vinegary taste. Like they mm. almost taste like Tabasco. I'm kidding. I love you, Granny. My grandmother had grapes. She wouldn't let us have chips. God bless that woman. But yeah, anyways. Mm. These aren't bad. Oh, they're really good. Alright. Gotta say. So far, that's We're my favorite. Save those guys. Mm. Alright, let's see what we got now. Pringles. Oh, yeah, good idea. Pringles always leave a weird, funky film in the inside of my mouth. Yep. Chex Mix, hot and spicy, 60% less fat. Oh, I, was, man. I always wonder when I see that, does that mean it's like 60% less fat than an equal size and shape blob, blob of fat? Is that what it's trying to say? Then what? Fine, fine. Oh, yeah. Then regular potato chips. Alright, which one of these are the regular ones? So, the hell oh, that Alright. Oops, I F-bombed. Yeah, it's okay. You, uh, you Tweety Bird bombed. Oh, okay. yes. I love Chex Mix. Mm -hmm. I've never had this one. I've had their jalapeno cheddar Chex Mix. And that stuff is pretty awesome. I'm not seeing any... Is there, the... There's the cheese crackers. I was going to say, all I'm yeah. seeing is pretzels and uh, Chex, but... Which, you know. Give it a good oh, keep well, it no helpful. Ooh, it smells like a... It smells like a good combination yeah. of spices. Bottoms up. Hmm. Kind of bland. Mm. Not gonna lie. Oh, good in now. Yeah, there's a little bit of a like. It's probably the spiciest thing on the table so far. Yeah. I'm feeling like a like a like a tingling burn. Yeah. But the flavor's not really there. I'm noticing. It just tastes like Chex Mix. Yeah. Well, I will say that the uh, the jalapeno cheddar ones are probably just as spicy. Yeah. Uh, but they have that. that at, they have added that cheese flavor to it, so it's... I actually was looking for those specifically when I found these, because I remember when I went to the supermarket, I'm like, I remember there's a bunch of things I want to get, and this is just the stuff I found. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not terribly bad. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like Chex Mix. Mm -hmm. Which is good. That'll get eaten. Now, this, on the other hand, I'm not so sure about. Hot cheese! Hot cheese. <laughs> Sweet Christmas! <laughs> um, oh, my stars and garters. It sounds like an expression out of the 1940s. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go on record here. Uh, bagged popcorn. I, um, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I hate bagged popcorn. Yeah, I'll bring it home with me. It's all good. Ooh. Oh, that check is actually kicking a little bit more than I thought it would. Knock my socks off, so to speak. I prefer fresh popcorn or fair popcorn or any of that good stuff. This, uh, I hate that smell. Um, Man, this is school lunches to me. Hot cheese artificially flavored. This reminds me of uh, when I was a kid. I would always get that aunt who would send me one of those 10 pound buckets of three different types mm -hmm. of popcorn. And it was always that cheese. It was a regular one, a caramel one, and a cheese one. And the cheese one always made me sick. Mm -hmm. I love well, the two. Then this one will make you sick because it smells like cheese popcorn. That's exactly what I'm getting. Uh, well, bottoms up. Science. Yeah, you really lose something when the popcorn is not fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like you're chewing on um, like a handful of pencil mm. uh, Oh, yeah. I it's almost that. like the, the spice like negates any cheese flavor that there might be there. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the, the, if you could separate the spice flavor, the spice itself isn't that bad. Right. It tastes like um, like a hearty salsa almost, like, a, like the, whatever the, the, the main spicy component of salsa is. Right. A little bit of when you breathe out, you kind of feel it on the roof of your mouth. Oh yeah. Wise brand hot cheese popcorn. Yeah. Give those to the dog. Right. <laughs> now, These are sort of intriguing. I'm going to dedicate this one right here to a Mr. Andrew Scannell, who I recently found out lived off these in college years. <laughs> uh, Adam Fox, a good friend of mine, turned me on to these, and these are... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on record with a Tweety Bomb here. These are the shit. These are so friggin' good. These are Snyder's Hot Buffalo Wings Pretzel Pieces. They don't look like pretzels. They look like refuse. They look like broken pieces of stuff you find in a pretzel factory. Yeah, there's broken pieces of stuff you find in the pretzel factory covered with awesome looking spice stuff. Yeah, these are... I remember these. Back in the day, 
these kick. These pack a nasty punch. Well, not a nasty punch, like by comparison. They bag heavy too, which are like, oh, man. that's like a pound and a half. Oh. That's like eating a really crunchy buffalo wing. I know. It's, that is awesome. These are my favorite. I've never had these. These are fantastic. Right about here. I'm going to put the rating for this. It's going to say 10 out of 10. Somewhere around here. Magic of the internet. Or editing. So yeah. It's, wow, yeah, those are... It's the funniest thing. With spicy foods, like, I, I love spicy food, otherwise I wouldn't be on the show. Mm. Um, but something about most spicy foods, like, oh, I like them appreciably spicy. When it comes to buffalo wings, they have to be, like, yeah. blow your ass out of the water. Spicy. And they gotta have that recognizable buffalo flavor. Because mm -hmm. buffalo sauce yeah. and hot sauce are not the same thing. And right. these, exactly, these got that buffalo oh, wing. Man. My nose is gonna start running like a faucet here. <laughs> Packs a little bit of a punch, don't yeah. it? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Back in my days when I lived alone, I'd buy a bag of these on my day off and just be like, on the computer, eat about half the bag and realize, one, I'm sweating my balls off, pardon my expression, because you just get so much heat built up in your system, it's like, wow, it's like a sauna in here all of a sudden. Ooh. But yeah. Ooh, kind of cheap, that large. <laughs> yeah, go to town. Because <laughs> I'm keeping the bag. Wow. I'll take whatever he wants of the other stuff. <laughs> Palette cleanser, because I want to get an accurate view of oh whatever the oh, yeah. heck that is. Babuja. Babuja, babuja, babuja. Ah! Yeah, B H U J A original mix. This is the original mix. This is the one without the crickets. If that's, no, racially, man. If that's racially insensitive. Um, okay, so a blaze with crickets taste the and best goodness. Part. I know, you get all your protein. A spicy exotic blend of crispy, crunchy snack nibbles with multi grain noodles, peas, peanuts, and. Sultanas. What's a sultana? I have no idea. I'm gonna look that up later. Alright, ooh. That smells like peanuts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour out a bunch here because apparently it separated while it was in the thing. Alrighty then. Well, huh? that explains why it smells like peanuts. You, uh, y'all get a look at that? I don't know what that is, or what to think of that. But, let's try to get a little bit of everything in this hand here. There's peas in here. I think those are the, are those the peas or those are the sultanas? No, those are peas. What? It, maybe this is a sultana. Well, the yellow thing. Yeah, the, the flat, chippy thing. Um, no, the... Mine's got pea in it. There's that a Q. Mine's got, mine has a lot of pea in it. Mm-hmm. And get some of these what look like uh, salad crunchy things you put on your uh, whatever. I just grab a handful. Yeah. Get some peanuts in here too. Uh, all right. Well, ein, zwei, drei. Of science. I think if it didn't have the peanuts in it, I wouldn't like it as much. But, mm. um, yeah. The peanuts had a nice texture to it. It's like a flavor. It's a very mild curry flavor to it. Yeah, very mild. It's not bad, by mm. any means. It's different. Yeah. I feel like I'm traveling the Orient. That would be like a really good like party mix thing to set out for people. Yeah. Like, people, like I would imagine that would disappear pretty quickly because people would go over and be like, what is that? Hmm. And then the, it is, yeah. It, it's not bad. I'm still trying it's to figure out what a sultana is. and exotic. Yeah. I think it's the yellow thing. Maybe that is a sultana. Okay, in your comments, or unless he does, you know, think. If you know what a sultana is, let us know. Yeah. Specifically, Sarah, if you're watching this, you know about this kind of thing. What's a sultana? You're the one who told me about this to begin with. But, um, yeah, overall, I can rate this at about a 7 out of 10. It's good munchy food. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, it's it's not overly flavorful. You're not going to get sick of it. It's good while you're watching or doing something mm -hmm. else, you know. Yeah. I get that, uh, I get that a solid, yeah, a solid seven. Mm. Anyways, palate plunger here. Not that we have anything left, but... Right. Well, Will here has something he's like to tell us about. Some one of uh, your... Current endeavors? Yes, my current endeavors. I am working on getting an EP, mixtape, demo, whatever you want to call it, 
working on getting a mini album done. Hoping to get it done the first week uh, before the first week of April because I'd like to hand it out at PAX East. If you're going to be at PAX East, hit me up. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me on the Twitter at BigMC underscore Large Huge. Yeah, uh, I'll be doing a, open mics and performing and all that. It's a reference to uh, so, MST3K, isn't it? It is, yes. Definitely. Anybody who likes MST3K is one, my, my lifelong friend, and two, anytime you want to film my show, you can come by. So. But yeah, you have an official, uh, what was it, your Twitter, that's the only uh, website you want to plug here? Uh, Twitter, um, I have a SoundCloud account, also a big MC, large, huge. Um, the stuff that's up there right now are just a couple of battle tracks I've done for nerdcorenow.com, um, which is going well-ish. <laughs> Struggling artist, man. You gotta, Struggling, yeah, you exactly. Everybody starts off somewhere. I have made it to the final round of my competition. That is the uh, latest and greatest. Excellent. All right, well, I think we're going to wrap up there. Thank you for coming on my show, Will. Thank you, Kelly, sir. And I hope to be back someday. Oh, soon. definitely. And uh, this has been In the Hot Seat, and we will see you next episode.